Toyota goes official with the new Prius. Volkswagen says, hey, check out the most powerful Golf GTI ever. Hyundai has a Vision GT of their own, and they also reveal the new Elantra via the Korean version. Plus, it's Friday, so we'll go faster than anyone in the news game with some rapid fire news. Oh, you're right? All right, good. Seems to be okay. Uh, yes, we have a lot of fun here at FLD, but before we get into the episode, I'd like to say something. Today is September 11th, which of course is the 14th anniversary of the September 11th attacks. Crazy that it's been that long already. It just seems like yesterday. It's impossible to forget the events of that day, not only on the anniversary, but every day, especially for all of us working right here in New York City. I personally remember that day so vividly, as many people do in this room and in the world. So as I sit here talking about car news, making jokes, laughing, and you sit wherever you are watching me or doing what it is that you do, just remember to never forget that many people gave their lives that day, some willingly, and people still do today, so we can enjoy the freedoms we have here. So if you can, take a minute today and reflect on that and never forget. I'm Derek D. You're watching Fast Lane Daily, coming to you from the greatest city in the world, New York City. Hyundai showed off its redesigned Elantra for the South Korean market, but there it's known as the Avante. You can see Hyundai's new design language from the Genesis sedan and Sonata trickle on down to a longer, wider, and taller Elantra. Hyundai's hexagonal grille dominates its new face, along with smaller LED lights and chrome trim. At the rear, redesigned taillights and a new bumper make the Elantra appear more, you know, premium. Inside, you see the relationship to the new Sonata's cabin with better ergonomics and materials. Hey, you got a nice big screen there, too. Not sure what the engine options will be here in the United States for the new Elantra, but I'm willing to bet it's not going to blow anyone's mind. You know, it's, yeah. you know, it's your standard uh, compact sedan stuff. Uh, we'll see it in November at the LA Auto Show. Word up? Yeah, word up. You got it. Oh, speaking of Hyundai, uh, they figured it was their turn to pump out a Vision Gran Turismo concept for the Gran Turismo 6 video game. New teasers have surfaced for Hyundai's N 2025 Vision Gran Turismo ahead of its debut at the Frankfurt Motor Show. Hyundai's ultimate concept car is inspired by aeronautics. Yeah, with an ultra-low slung stance. Erica, that stance, though. That stance, though. Can't even. It has some fighter jet design elements like the cockpit and wing-shaped headlights and taillights. Its styling, uh, quote, blurs the line between air and asphalt, says Hyundai. But does it really? Yeah. Uh, these designs are obviously a lot more dramatic than soon-to-be production vehicles, but it does show their spark for sleek premium products that will hopefully end up in showrooms eventually. You get what I'm saying. That's what all these companies are doing with these Vision GT concepts. Uh, those LED lights in the front do look pretty cool, though. For show. For show. Volkswagen will introduce the GTI Club Sport, its most powerful street legal GTI ever, at the Frankfurt Motor Show. But here's a quick preview. The GTI's turbocharged two-liter four-cylinder engine has been tuned to deliver 261 horsepower, an increase of about 35 ponies over the stock model. And you know what? It could even go further to produce 285 horsepower for approximately 10 seconds or so, thanks to an overboost function. The overboost just kicked in, yo. Nice. Yeah, it's a new, new, uh, it's a new phrase for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, with a six-speed manual, the Club Sport says 60 in six seconds flat. And with the dual-clutch gearbox, it will get there in 5.9 seconds. Just a <coughs> short, <coughs> quicker. Top speed is electronically limited at 155 miles per hour. Styling-wise, it has a new front bumper with bigger air intake, side skirts, a bigger roof spoiler, bigger exhaust pipes, and rear diffuser. 18-inch alloy wheels come standard, and 19-inch ones are available for more, for more coin. The wheels on this one here are fired up. They're real nice. I dig them. Uh, inside, you got those Alcantara front seats, a red steering wheel, center marker, and red accents. 
throughout the cabin because you know what? We all know red means faster. I mean, just the truth. Yeah. Uh, we'll know the price next week, Frankfurt. That's when we'll know. But now for something really exciting. Not sure if you guys are ready for this. Toyota has officially unveiled the 2016 Prius. And there it is, right there. Wow. Excited, AK? Very excited. Very excited. Yeah, not really my thing, but uh, the exterior is, uh, you know, love it or hate it, redesigned with a pinched face, longer body, lower hood, and further forward roof. This red one here looks like it's just uh, it's staring at me. <laughs> Quit it. You're freaking me out, man. <laughs> It's not polite. The Prius will get LED headlights standard and Toyota says the new shape has a more engaging style. As for its fuel efficiency, the new Prius is 10% more efficient than before with a city slash highway slash combined rating of 56, 53, no, sorry, 56, 55, 53 miles per gallon. There will also be a plug-in hybrid with even better numbers. Toyota said the 2016 Prius has improved driving dynamics because of a lower and wider stance and a more rigid frame. And the inside, uh, well, it looks like that. That's what it looks like. Um, he's staring at me again, isn't he, Erica? Yep. Oh, this Prius is a jerk. Oh. He's a jer jerk face. That's a jerk face stare face Prius right there. That's what I call it. I guess so. All right. Get that face. Let's pick up the pace. Ooh. There's some rapid fire news. Pop, 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 pop. Ooh. Oh, did someone just punch you in the gut? <laughs> oh, are you are because I don't I don't approve of that. No one, no one punch anyone in the gut in the studio, please. <coughs> we have a gentleman over here who's wheezing. Uh, uh, wincing. Yeah. Alright, get some water, you'll be fine. Alright, you ready? Check out Ben Affleck cruising his black Challenger Hellcat. Maybe this is taking over for the Bat. Mobile, now nah, it's too plain for Bruce Wayne. Speaking of, if you're a fan of Batman, check out the new Batmobile with some cool looking wheels at the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. If you're out in LA, hit that up for sure. These vegans bought a leatherless Tesla Model S. Do you care? I say the opposite of yes. Hey, check this out, man. BMW just built their 10 million 3 Series sedan. Here's something to chickity check. The Pontiac Aztec is, popular, is a popular used car buy mainly because of Breaking Bad. Yeah, quite the sales pitch. Pitch. Have 90 grand to blow? Then go buy Chris Brown's Gallardo with Tupac lyrics written all over it, and you can uh, hit him up and get around and run the streets with California love, because I ain't mad at you just getting money all day, like Matthew McConaughey in these new Lincoln commercials for Lincoln, where he's driving while thinking what FLD and Derek D will do with that character, McConaughey Lincoln. Because <sighs> we'll probably do something. Yeah. And that right there is it, chicks and dudes, for this edition of Rapid Fire News. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Nice good. Nice job, Derek. Dude. Oh, thank you, AK. Smooth, recovery from last week. Yeah, good, yeah. I had to uh, step it up. But yeah, people, they're saying millennials, are. a lot of millennials are buying the Pontiac Aztec because of basically Breaking Bad popularity. That's a horrible Isn't that crazy? reason. That's amazing. Horrible reason. <laughs> I drive the Walter White Mobile. Gross. Bitch. That's funny. Not worth it. Yeah, no, no, not worth it to me, but uh, that's just an interesting concept. All right, our FLD question of the day is, what is your favorite Vision GT concept car? You know, there's been a bunch of them coming out in the past couple years. Uh, I tell you that Mercedes AMG Vision GT concept was pretty badass. That if I'm not mistaken, we saw the 2013 LA Auto Show. Um, very nice. Infinity's version was quite the looker too. Look at that, that hood. It's like, but it's, Whoa. I dig it. It's very, it's got stance, Erica. Yeah. It's got that stance. Let us know. Use hashtag FLDQ of the D, and you could send your own into tips at fastlanedaily.com. Thank you, AK. And uh, that is going to do it for Fastlane Daily today and this week. I'm Derek D. But before we go, I just want to wish a very happy birthday to big FLD fan, Lily Dobson. Yeah. Here she is at the Washington, D.C. auto show. Your husband, Alan, who's also a big fan. Uh, reached out to us and he said that you're from Ethiopia and today is the Ethiopian New Year. So let's see if I could say this right. Oh boy. <laughs> Melkum Addis Amet, which uh, means Happy New Year in the Amharic Ethiopian language. Ah. Cool. Nice job. Yeah. So uh, thanks for being fans and enjoy your birthday and thank you everyone out there for watching. We do appreciate it. And uh, America, I love you. Melkum, Melkum Addis Amet. I mean, it probably sounds very wrong, but it she does. gets the idea that I tried. I can tell. <laughs> there you go. <laughs>
Hit me right in the face. 